Hello there and welcome to Scott's Garage. This is my trusty Honda lawnmower. Um, I don't have a very big lawn in the back, pretty small, and I have no lawn in the front. So it takes me only about five minutes to mow the lawn. And so about once a month, this gets five minutes of use, which is probably not the best uh, for a lawnmower like this. It probably should run for longer, but I just don't have that much lawn, so. Um, anyway, the last few times I've been, I tried to start it, it's been a little bit tough to start. And so I thought, well, I've never really done any maintenance on it. I've had it for probably 10 years. I've only just put gas in it. I thought, why don't I do like a full maintenance job on this and uh, get it back up to snuff? So that sounds like a perfect job for Scott's Garage. Let's get started. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do is give it a bath. I've never really washed it before, but I'd rather you know, work on something that's not all dusty and dirty and full of grass. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that or not, but I'm going to wash it. So I'm not sure of the right way to do this, but this is the way I'm doing it. Before I started this project working on the lawnmower, I did a little bit of research on Amazon to try to find out if there was a repair kit for it, like a tune-up kit. And sure enough, there was this box right here. And uh, let's open it up and see what's in it. Okay, so we have a new spark plug, a new fuel filter, and some clamps. An air filter with the foam insert, and a new piece of fuel line. So that, and I'm gonna change the oil, but all of that was $7.99. Now, I don't know how they can do that. I guess they made a lot of them, but uh, I'll take it for eight bucks. And I can, you know, I have some oil so I can change the oil and I can basically have my uh, lawnmower running like new for $8. I think mean, that's a good deal. Let's get started. I think the first thing that I want to do is take off this air filter. Uh, it looks like there's been an impact here, so this little clip is broken, um, but this one is holding on, and um, probably want to fix that when we put it back together, so that uh, this thing is, is on there really good. Okay, so we've got some grass, and a pretty dirty air filter. And no foam element in there so I don't know what's going on here so I don't know whether that uh, wasn't in there whether it uh, got taken out at some point I don't know looks like it's uh, pretty dirty in here just in general which isn't that good so um, let's clean that up I'm not sure what I'm going to find under here. It looks like these are sort of Loctited or something. But they're certainly not uh, coming out easily. Whoa. Huh. Okay. Didn't expect that. <laughs> I wonder what's behind this. Looks like there's a little bit of a guide for... Oh, and this is a little shorty. So the short one goes there. Uh-oh, are these different lengths? Okay. So these are the same lengths, but that one up here is the short one. 
So, okay. All right, so this looks really dirty. I'm gonna try to clean this off without getting anything in the intake here. Be real careful. Just, did you take this gasket off? Yep. Be just real careful with it. Gonna clean that off. Then I think this is like a vent breather type of deal. I assume. So the carburetor has several gaskets that fit between the air filter, which is this unit here, and the engine. So there's one that goes in here, one that goes in here, one over here, and then another two on each side, and there's one in between there. And in taking all this apart, I found that the one that was closest to the engine um, was broken and um, I'm wondering if this is part of the, um, the engine running problems that we've had. So let's clean this up and see what we can do. Because I don't run the lawnmower every day, I can have it out of commission for a few days while I order some parts. So I ordered this gasket kit came with all the gaskets. I thought it was way too many until I actually took it apart and realized how many that it actually uses. And it was um, $8 or something like that. Not too much. So I'll replace all the gaskets and um, then we'll see how it runs. So it may be a little hard to see, but with the, with the carburetor off, I was able to see the valve in there, and uh, that intake valve looks pristinely clean. So I think this engine's in pretty good shape. That's cracked in there too. Hmm. Let's see, that was cracked. So, I think replacing all of these is going to be a good thing to do. Well, I have to say, after a fair amount of fiddling, it's really tough to get five gaskets all lined up and a carburetor, two plates, and this big plastic intake, which basically like covers everything so you can't see anything of what you're doing. Uh, I could have... Uh, could have been a little bit easier of a design there, Honda. You gotta admit, there were a few um, cuss words that were uttered. I have to admit, it was not pretty, but <laughs> the old gaskets looked really bad. And I think I got the new ones on with some sealer. And, uh,. I think it should be pretty good. I took the flashlight and went all around as much as I could see. And uh, I think that's pretty good. Let's get the filter back on there and uh, let's try to start it up. So I think this goes like this. I think it just goes, I guess. Goes in there. 
and then this kind of goes here, like this, and then we have some hooks here, it seem like they should go there, and then that should go like that, and that's clipped on there. This, I'm not quite sure what to do with. Because I really need a new mounting piece. Okay, so if I... I don't really see what I'm doing, huh? Let's do... Like this thing. Maybe here. So I have a self-tapping screw. If I push this in... Push that around there. Huh. That's pretty cool. I think that'll work. Alright, let's call that part done. So here's what I want to do here. The fuel tank I have the cap off. What I want to do is drain all this fuel because it's been sitting in there for a long time. So it looks like this comes out here, the fuel comes out here, goes into this pet cock, and then into the engine from there. What I the kit came with new clamps and a fuel filter. So I think I'll remove this piece, drain the fuel tank probably try to try to drain the bowl kind of get all of the crap that's out of the bowl and this is my idea for this I don't know if you can see it but I'm going to try to turn this like that and I think that there is a FedEx. Let's try not to break this. Come on now. Oops, well, only spilled a little bit, but my idea like my idea is kind of working so we'll just drain all of that and then uh, go to the float, float bowl let's remove the other end of this fuel line now so I don't know whether I showed you but I used to have a five gallon can I can't remember if I showed it to you um, and I used to go fill that up because I had a much bigger lawn a while ago. Now, you know, trying to get rid of trying to get rid of grass. I don't have much of a lawn now. And so but I still had like five gallons and it would take me literally years to go through that. Where I used to have a pretty big lawn and it wouldn't take me that long to go through it. Um, but now I switched to that little one gallon and I took all the gas from the five gallon, the one gallon, and the gas tank here, and I put them all in the Yaris. It'll be fine. It'll love it. And then um, I'm going to go get some new gas, just one gallon in that small can, and probably take me a few months to use that, and it probably won't go bad by then. The, the gas actually didn't smell that bad, and um, the thing is, is, I mow the lawn even in the winter, because here it, it still grows. I still need to mow it, just not as much. It's like every two weeks, every three weeks maybe in the winter, and then every once every week in the summer. So it does get used. And uh, I think what I might do is put premium in it. I don't know whether that will help anything or not, but I don't know. I was thinking about it. So if I put this here, up this guy with 
my spark plugs and all of my other things. And then I don't know, what do you just put this here? stick this in here uh, oh flow there's my little arrow right there I'm gonna flow it this way and uh, I don't know maybe like if I do it here like this and then if I cut it here And then I put this here. Like that. And then maybe one of these here. I'm gonna make a little sub assembly. <laughs> kind of fun. And then I'll put one of these on here first. Here, and then put this here, and this is probably going to be way too long, I would imagine. But something like that, and then I don't know. I don't want too big of a band, but that looks a little funky. So if I cut it off like there, and put this here. Oh, come on! I can do better than that. Look at that. I can do better than that. Oh God! I am the worst. No. Not that bad. I'm okay. I'll be fine. And then we we'll put this here. I don't want to put that up so I don't rack my knuckles, my knuckles when I'm doing. I don't think I've ever moved this. That's why it's so hard to move. Okay, well let's just leave that right there. <laughs> I don't want to break it. That uh, looks okay. I think that'll be fine. There, there, there. A little bit of a sharp bend here, but I don't think that's too bad. And let's just put this on loosely so we don't get any any uh put on loosely just so we don't get any things falling in it. Now moving around to the front of the engine. I may be wrong, but I think this is the float bowl. Train plug? Oh yeah, gas is coming out. Let's put some. Oh my God, it's a lot. Wow. <laughs> Anybody got a light? No, we don't want a light. Okay, so I think anything that was going to be flowing or floating around in there probably float out. I would say. So I'm hoping that that was a fruitful endeavor. We'll just tighten that back up, and then Lily can enjoy the wonderful smell of my hands smelling like gas for the rest of the night. She'll be like, what's that smell? Why does it smell like that? You smell weird. So let's back up a little bit and change the spark plug. See how this thing's running too. And I 
assume that uh, that Amazon is correct in saying this fits your vehicle. It's not really a vehicle, but because this new spark plug is a F6TC. I don't know. With some type of a nice gap there, I guess. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Oh my. Ooh, sooty. Running rich. Well, looks like it was still running, but it looks like that thing needed to be changed. <laughs> Maybe that's just soot over the years, hopefully. I don't think it was burning any oil. That's just uh, built up soot over so many years of, you know. I guess at some point I could change these wheels. It is power driven, which is weird because the wheels in the back that drive this are in about the same shape as these wheels. So I'm not sure how that works because these do not drive. But anyway, maybe next service uh, I'll get a whole new set. How about that? Deal? It says genuine Honda oil recommended. I don't know. Wow, look at that. A piece of bark. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much it takes. Uh, looks like this is where the oil, you put it in and you check it. Got that part. That looks fine. Rubber seal and everything. Yeah. Oil smells good. Um, this sounds like a job for the internet. Let me find out how I'm supposed to drain the oil. Hold on. After checking YouTube, it seems like it's really, really simple. This is the fill tube. I took out the, the dipstick and you just tip it over and let it drain out. So I don't know if this is going to work, but let's try. Oh, wow. Look at that. Huh. That's pretty neat. Can I just, like, put this on the ground? And let it drain out more? Says it's 13 ounces. Well, that wasn't very graceful, but I think that's effective. So, here's it, kind of just uh, did its own thing there. I didn't really have <laughs> it under control, but it seems like it's going in the bucket. So, um, I think I'm going to call that good. So it said it's uh, 13 ounces of oil. So I'm going to try to find some oil and something to measure 13 ounces. I well, let that drain for a while and uh, measured out 13 ounces, which is what the internet said. And the internet's never wrong. So I'm sure all this, though, this seems like a lot of oil. So I don't know. We'll see. I think I might pour the old oil into here and see if it's anywhere close to that amount. How about if we do that? Can you see that? Let's see.
Wow, it's actually more. Okay. In the bottom of the pan, it didn't look like it was very much. But when you put it in the, the measuring cup, boy, it is dirty, isn't it? It's about 14. I guess that's pretty close. That's pretty close. I didn't think it used much oil. And it doesn't look like it does. So let me let that settle for a few minutes and then we'll check the oil. That is just amazing that it said it was like 13 and a half ounces of oil it's supposed to take. And the old oil is almost exactly like within half an ounce. Honda, man. That oil's been in there for I don't know how long. And, uh, and right at the top where it should be. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> they said, do not screw it in, Scott. But they said, what the internet said right there. But Scott, don't screw it in. <laughs> wow, that was really, really easy. I think we get some gas and um, we're pretty much done. Well, all right, let's uh, go to the gas station and get some gas. We'll take the uh, the e-bike. All right, so I got some gas at the gas station and we'll go ahead and fill this thing up enough gas all right looks pretty good but before I want to start it I think I'm gonna take that foam filter out of here I uh, I did some research on line thank you YouTube and it looks like nobody uses that foam piece let me show you what I mean so if we take off my little homemade screw here, carefully, and then pop this out, I had put the foam thing behind this, and, well, actually, because I was worried that it wouldn't, that this wouldn't be able to seat in there, but it actually seats in there really nicely. Huh. I don't know whether it's going to restrict airflow, but actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that in there because this fits in there really nicely. I think it seals all the way around. It's not pushing it out or anything. Actually, I'm going to change my mind and uh, we're going to leave that just like that. Cool. I'll put the screw back in and then we'll give it a start. Okay, so let's see if this works. We got fuel, fuel on, and uh, that's down to start. Wow, that works great. That wasn't staged. One pull and it started, so I think this project is done. Thanks for watching.